morning, good people. Oh, well, it's morning here. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Sitting in Waffle House parking lot, just had breakfast. And as I'm on my social media, just scrolling down my feed, I get some message. Somebody requested a certain topic be discussed and do a video on, so I'm getting ready to do it. It's about women that go get pregnant by married men. It's about women that fuck with married men, period. You know what? It's probably going to sound like I'm being a bitch. It's probably going to sound like I'm not being fair to some degree in what I got to say. But I can't do these topics unless I'm being honest. I'm not going to come to y'all with no bullshit about how I feel about the subject. I'm going to tell you what I really feel about the subject. First and foremost, it is fucking wrong to fuck with a married man. It is fucking wrong to fuck with a married woman. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. But at the end of the day, a married woman, for the most part, or a married man, for the most part, I ain't say all parts, for the most part, they only venture out, for the most part, if something's not going on right at home. If they're not happy at home, they're going to venture out, they're going to try to do what they got to do to get that fulfillment elsewhere that they're not getting at home. But in some parts, some people, especially the men, are just greedy. They got a wife and they want everybody else. Some women are like that too. It's not often. Some women are like that too. They got a husband, they want some other dick. Sometimes people get, they get bored with the same person after a while. And then they want to try to venture out and do other things which you're really not supposed to do at least not in the United States of America there are other countries that they cool with it you can have more than one wife you can have more than one husband but while you reside in the United States of America you are only supposed to fuck with one person if you're married and that's your spouse that's it on another hand I'm trying to figure out okay if you are a side chick and you're dealing with um, a married man and you know he's in a situation where he ain't really trying to leave his wife, he's got a family, they got a house together, cars together, boats together, bikes together, whatever, they got shit together. You know all this. What makes you think that, and that's what they asked me to speak on in this subject talk about side chicks that pretty much be getting pregnant by these married men the question is what makes you think that just because you're pregnant by him that he gonna leave his wife if he don't want to leave his wife whether you having a baby or not he's not gonna leave her simple as that if he if he's content with his life and everything is already well, overall, he's not content with his, his overall life. Because if he was, he wouldn't have a side chick for the most part. But if he's content with how everything is going in terms of his financial stability. And he don't want to leave his family. Having a baby by him is not going to make him leave his wife to be with you. There's millions and it's like you're wasting your time. You know, having a baby by somebody don't that don't hold them. There's millions and millions and millions and millions and billions of people out here in this world. For you to get stuck on a married man is ludicrous because majority of the time they don't go nowhere. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do, depending on what the situation and the circumstances are. For the most part, they don't go nowhere. They already rooted and grounded financially with a house, a couple cars, 
you know, if the wife is working, the wife and the and him together combined, they bringing in money together, opposed to him leaving her and had to try to for temporarily if, if he do decide to go off to fuck with you. But there still has to be a temporary uh, time after leaving his wife that he just it would just be his finances and his finances only until he comes to you. Niggas think about that. Or men rather. They think about that. If they don't want to do that. They want two incomes coming in if they're working. Or if they're not working, they want to depend on the wife if she's working. They don't want to go through not even a temporary phase after breaking up of not having somebody to help with those bills. So, I don't give a fuck how much money he made. He can make millions of dollars. I don't care. It's just the point. They still going to want somebody that's going to contribute something. At the end of the day, having a baby by a man is not going to hold him. If he don't want to be there. If he feels it's his responsibility to do for the child, which it is, if, it, if it's his child. If he has that sense of responsibility, he'll do it. But that's all you're going to get. From a man that's really not trying to leave his wife. He's going to take care of the child. If he has any sense of responsibility, but he's not going to fuck with you on no serious note. The side chick... Y'all be trying, it, it really, it's about a challenge. It ain't really too tough, got anything to do with how you feel about that man. You might feel about him, you might love him, whatever the case may be. But overall, that ain't what it then really ends up being about. It be about a challenge. And wanting to outdo and beat the wife. You want to show that wife that you got that kind of power to where you can make him leave her after he done been with her for all these years or after they, you know, developed or established a tight bond. That's what that shit really is about. It's about control and it's about competition. It's mainly centered around power. It'd be more about the competition you have between you and that wife than your feelings for him. I'm not saying that motherfuckers side chicks don't catch feelings. Anybody can catch feelings for anybody. If you're spending time with them and stuff like that and develop you're gonna develop feelings if you especially if you've been sleeping together and it's good and you're spending time. You, you you can catch feelings for anybody, but at the end of the day it's, it's more about competition with these women. Y'all just wanna outdo the wife. And you want to show that wife that you got more power than what the fuck she thinks she got. You want to show that wife that you can pull him. Bitch, this is about me. It ain't about you. It, it's a competition thing. Y'all gets caught up with that. Having a baby by a nigga is not going to make him leave his wife. You might get a little extra income because you have his child. But that's all you're going to get if he don't want to leave his wife. Especially if he's a strong-minded person. Strong-minded nigga ain't gonna leave his wife. A weak-minded nigga? Maybe. You may, you, you may be able to pull an insecure, weak man away from his wife. Somebody that's strong and they're not gonna, they don't have no, no intentions on leaving, they're not gonna leave. And a baby's not gonna make a difference. They don't give a fuck about that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I gotta go. But um, I got another video coming. And it, it gets a little bit more in depth about the side chicks. I think I'll post that probably within the next few minutes. So look for that after this video. Um, but yes, this video here, this subject was per request. Um, and I hope... I got into, uh, spoke on the things that she wanted me to, to speak on in depth, hopefully enough in depth, you know, it was hopefully it's good. It was good enough for her. Basically is what I'm saying. Follow me on all social media, um, bunny love 29 YouTube, as it appears here, you can subscribe. 
B U N N I E Love 29. Um, Instagram, Bunny Love 29. Twitter, Bunny Love 29. Snapchat, Bunny Love 29. Peace.